welcome back. This is the fifth and final video of this course introducing qualitative research. And in this final video of this course, we're going to end off with two more methodologies of qualitative research, narrative research and action research. Narrative research is the study of how individuals experience the world. This methodology is particularly interest in personal stories and narratives of participants, which are viewed as the gateway to individuals' experiences. The narrative researcher seeks to gather and interpret these personal narratives to understand the individual's experiences and the meaning they ascribe to them. That's narrative research. I'm going to put up an example of a study that uses this methodology. Feel free to pause the video and check out that example. Action research is a reflective process that allows for action and research to be conducted simultaneously. This approach is particularly useful in practical fields such as education and social work, where the researcher is often involved in the situation they're researching. In action research, the researcher develops an action plan, implements it, collects and analyzes data, and then reflects on the results. This reflection then leads to a new plan, and then the cycle continues. And that's action research. I'm going to put up an example of a study that uses this methodology really well. Feel free to pause the video and check out that example. With this, we conclude our introduction to qualitative research. We differentiated qualitative and quantitative research and talked about six methodologies. Each methodology offers a unique lens to explore and understand the world around us. The choice of the methodology will depend upon your research question, the context, and the philosophical stance that you take as a researcher. But that's all I have for this course. Thanks for watching. If you found this course helpful, please let us know by liking, share, and subscribing. Until the next course, take care.